Well, John Allen, first of all, you know, last night I watched five hours of our Super Night special celebrating, welcoming in the Chinese New Year, the Year of the Dragon. And in those five hours, I didn't see you. I was hoping to see you dancing. I was hoping to see you perform. <laughs> so I hope next year you're going to be there. But jokes aside, beautiful weather here on the first day of the Chinese New Year here in Guangzhou. Now, what stands out, especially here in South China, more specifically in Guangzhou, are the flower markets. And yes, I'm not at a flower market currently, but in the week, in the few days leading up to Chinese New Year's Eve, which was last night and today, those flower markets are a major hit. You have vendors in various districts uh, across the city of Guangzhou, be it Tianhe, Yueshou, Haiju, Panyu, everywhere. You have those set up. And what happens there is Hang Fa Gai, that's a Cantonese for people going out for a walk with their families, uh, buying flowers, all sort of trinkets uh, and other sort of gifts and, and related products uh, what relate to the year of the dragon. I remember last year, myself and my colleague Huang Fei, Sandy, we went uh, to one of the major flower markets here in Guangzhou, uh, filled with rabbit related sort of gifts and toys. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful. But the reason I'm not there today is actually, remember, it is the first day of the Chinese New Year and a lot of those vendors, a lot of those uh, stall uh, owners, those people running those flower markets, they actually have to go home too. They want to celebrate the Chinese New Year. They even extended it uh, a day longer. So uh, unfortunately, we won't be getting too much flower action here, but that is a major hit. And of course, even up until last night, uh, around 2 a.m., I was up a bit late. Of course, Super Night went late into the night. Uh, firecrackers, fireworks, yes, those are bending some of the rules here in the city, but that was being celebrated uh, throughout the evening, well late into this morning. So a lot of people out and celebrating uh, this morning as well. I woke up uh, to the sound of drums being beaten to dragon dances or in the community I live in, kind of a private area, uh, people having that dragon dance performance uh, within the sort of compound where I live in, really nice to see. I walked over to work this morning. I wouldn't say many people in the streets. I think this day, the first day of the Chinese year, everyone's at home with their families, either ha preparing for dinners later tonight or spending time with loved ones. So again, a quiet sort of uh, entry into the year of the dragon here. Remember Guangzhou itself, the city uh, is a lot of people coming here to work city empties out during this time of year extremely quiet uh, it's one of my favorite times of the year uh, it's peaceful weather has been absolutely gorgeous yesterday it was freezing today we woke up uh, to this beautiful blue sky so uh, already on a good step forward here into the Chinese New Year uh, and hopefully more of this to come I, I, I hope to see you next year Joanna Super now, night, well you didn't see me this year because I was also at home watching this as well Omar um, and I gotta tell you no fireworks in Beijing but it is nice to have a quiet night's sleep that's Omar Khan in Guangzhou